Good morning from the NASDAQ market site in Times Square, New York. I'm Jay Heller with your market update. Again, markets weaker once again yesterday with a lack of economic news out there as well as just earnings coming in pretty much mixed at best. Uh, this morning we are seeing the markets slightly drift lower. The Dow is off about 35 as of 8.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Some of the numbers coming out in the pre-market, uh, the GDP came in less than expected. 2.4% uh, was the reading, uh, slowing down again, reflecting a larger trade deficit and again a little bit of a slowdown with the economy as a whole. Uh, earnings were pretty much mixed. We're getting some of the larger names that came out, yeah, excuse me, come out yesterday. For example, Kellogg's coming in uh, lighter than expected. Now, it was an interesting story. They did have a major recall on some of their brands, recalling over 20 million boxes of cereals, which without question hurt their bottom line. Motorola, another company, now they've been in the, smart mo uh, the smartphone market for a while as well, having a really tough time keeping up with the Apples, with the iPhones and the Google phones because of the whole Android platform, uh, comes in with a very, very good earnings. Now again, keep in mind, Motorola, they are the maker of the Droid and the new Droid X, so they've been having pretty good feedback with that and the shares did trade higher yesterday. Uh, Colgate-Palmolive, slow down there as well. Now again, in times where people are looking to save some money, they may look to buy some of the the, you know, generic type of brand products, as well as they were hurt with a currency, uh, you know, swap with Vez uh, Venezuela, excuse me. So that hurt them to the bottom line. Uh, an interesting story. Also, everybody's very familiar with Facebook. They now have over 500 million uh, users. Uh, again, an IPO, which people kind of thought may be coming sooner than later, has been put back off, uh, you know, put off a little bit, probably to 2012 as the company continues to ramp up ad salespeople, and again, that's something you're going to always want to keep an eye on because they are a major player in that space. So that's all for now from the NASDAQ market site in Times Square. I'm Jay Heller with your market update.